all right what's up guys uh it's a boy coming to you today with a new review and today i'm not nothing less than excited to review this <laughs> excuse me uh variety card right variety flashback to be specific and i didn't take his mind this card was 93 i thought it was a 92 i put 92 in the title so i am very uh sorry about that but you know regardless we move on to uh review uh well to speak about this card right because you see this card has um uh, some good memories to me uh his cards throughout fifa have been very broken man like uh i remember in 20 and uh, fifa 19 he had a really good um uh i think it was like a scream card ultimate scream card and that card had such good dribbling and good pace and it was very broken and also uh speaking about scream you know the the rule breakers variety which is an sbc another sbc right that uh ea released and this card was very very good um i think the we all overlooked the pace for a long time you know we all thought his pace was going to be like very bad on this card and you know it was not it was very good and the four star four star capability uh, unique body type right we all know that that came into play when it came to this card you know his ability to recover the balls for us you know the, the aggression of course and the composure because the composure i think composure is what made his passing a lot better than you know we thought it would be because i mean look at this passing bro right now this passing would not you know would not slide anywhere right we all know that this passing would be trash right now but Regardless, EA have given in, uh, us this other card, this flashback card, which is very well deserved, you know, because he's had very good seasons for the past, you know, couple of years. He's, he's been a very consistent player, right? And we're not going to ignore that. But regardless, we're looking at this card, you know, it's got the same four star, four star, medium high, and it's got the dive into tackle straight, which to be honest, I don't think it really matters depending, uh, considering his height. And obviously, you know, we're not going to ignore the fact that his stats and his unique body type are still, you know, are still there. But, you know, EA have gone ahead and given him a better shooting and better passing. And, of course, what we've been all waiting for is just the absolute monster, monstrosis pace that he's gotten. <laughs> and that is why today I'm more than excited to try him out with the anchor because, you know, I would like to see... You know how how how, I guess how good he would feel with the, with the ninety one strength. I mean, I'm not expecting nothing too you know too flashy from him, but you know also maxing out the uh, the aggression, is another thing that calls to my attention. And obviously, the dribbling stats and the passing stats look really good. Uh, I've seen a lot of people try him out with the hawk, try him out with the shadow, you know maxing out the pace, and you know to be honest, I think this guy is just so good. When it comes to you know uh, blocking those passing lanes you know what i mean so i don't really think the shadow is gonna be much of a stretch for him you know or anything important to you know consider when it comes to giving him a credit chemistry style i think you could you could be pretty open with it you know maybe even the basic could work out you know just being you know as open as like I'm trying to be you know I, I think any chemistry style could probably work with this kai considering the fact that his pace is pretty good you know right now and you know today we're going to be trying him out in a 3-5-2 uh, at the right cdm position and then we're going to be trying him in a 4-2-3-1 at the right cdm position as well and gonna be jumping into div 2 a game with him right next to shavi of course uh, who is a very similar player who has a unique body type as well and whose passing ability is actually pretty good in this game and his interceptions are good as well uh, obviously, this Shabby is a little bit outdated, in my opinion. But, you know, he still does a job for me when it comes to, you know, my weekend league, you know, stuff like that. Uh, regardless, we're going to go ahead and jump to this game. And, yeah, well, we'll see how good he is in game, right? And uh, as well, like you guys, you know, comment down below. How surprised are you guys that, you know, the League One Tots ended up being... You know, just another flop when it came to, like, the pricing in the market. Uh, in my opinion, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not that surprised. And I generally think that uh, the par the cars might bounce back in price pretty soon. 
So if you're considering buying one of those cards, uh, you know, today, I, I think it's a good idea, you know, to snatch you one of these cards now, right now, right now, because, you know, they look like they're pretty cracked and they're probably going to stay like that for a while, you know, yeah, they're, they're usually like the most cracked cards in the game. So, you know, if you're considering, you know, getting, getting uh, yourself a, one of these tots cards right now could probably could be the good time you know to do it because uh, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first game man All right, here we go. Jump into the first game. <coughs> oh boy, here we go. Going against her very own another opponent with a very their very own variety, right? And this will be a good test for him, right? Him going against himself. And he, look, he's also got the anchor on him, uh, which doesn't surprise me. Like I said, anchor looks so interesting on this guy. And, you know, I could be wrong, but it, it, his size is obviously, like, very, I guess, unattractive to most people for the meta of this game. Him being in that CDM position, but, like I said, his unique body type it is just, it's very unique. It's all I gotta say, man. All, all jokes aside, I really enjoy him. Um, it looks like Collins having trouble right here. Getting past our defense, so we'll get our... Well, guess that the, I'm just gonna be guessing that the ref is gonna help him out right here. <coughs> okay. So here we go. Gets a bar right here. He's about to press him with a variety right here. I have no idea how Kunde just jumped like that. Here we go, Ramos, the tackle. Okay. So let's see if we can get... Our is just not letting us get to our variety right now. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's see here. So, Talon just eats his tackle right there. <coughs> but, I mean, he did overreach to the ball right there. So, that explains why he beat him to the ball. We go against Sobrati. See, so he can make a little nice pass. Oh, he tackled us with our, all his own variety. He's playing it very smart. He's playing it very smart. Variety once again with a good block. Oh, I mean, I shouldn't have switched out of Ramos right there. Okay. So here we go. Right now we're in the 3-5-2, right? Got to get the game rolling a little bit. So I'm going to open up our opponent real quick. Just kind of just get a little play here and there. Maybe a little cheeky goal. Uh, this game is just... We're not going to talk about it, right? We're not going to talk about it. But we're going to go ahead and try and see... Does he give us a run right here? Okay, no, he stays. He, that medium high is coming into play. That is that is something I am noticing. What about the finesse? No. <coughs> Clearly, the long shots and the, you know, and the um, the shot power is just not good enough. Which is another reason why I'm considering giving him the upgrade for that. Now, what about now? Ooh, they have a little dip into it. It had that little whippage to it, right? No. 
Excuse me. Esto que ven acá es el concepto claro de aquello que dice manejar los tiempos del partido. Lo están haciendo bien. A mí me parece que pueden terminar con algo bueno en esta jugada. Well, I view that was good recovery from him right there and his positioning to receive the ball as well. Very good, very good. He was he also remains in his position, which is another thing that I can I can very appreciate very much appreciate from his card. Um He's gonna have to score right here because I know this guy is just not gonna leave it alone. Harry Kane. Oh I took too long for that shot. So that's why he managed to block that. Okay. Hakimi. Let's see. Okay, so his his uh his variety made a pretty good interception right there. But I'm honestly just like waiting for him to try to play down the middle but he's trying not to play down the middle he's just trying to just shoot right on it so we're gonna have to switch into four two three one in a little bit okay good thing we're right right here walking away from holland like that um let's see right here plays a good pass um the gameplay is very tragic right now that looks very disgusting. Oh yeah, he's in the pass right there. I know. He know he knows what Verratti can do. He knows. There we go. Yeah, you have to react fast when it comes to Verratti, because if not, he will lock you down. That's, that's another thing that I'm trying to say about this Verratti card. So so far, the anchor still like seems like a good option to to apply to this card. Um. Okay. Verratti, can you make a good pay? Oh, okay, never mind. That was something else, but that was good. That was a good pass. I'm not going to ignore that. It wasn't what we were looking for, but it was still a good pass, right? Like, that's literally another thing that EA gives you. It's like, <clears throat> he meant to, pa to play the pass right there, but since like the AI didn't find it, it just did that. It just gave him another pass. But it is just so ridiculous how many times this game has been helping this guy. Okay. First half not going so well for us, but we do have one thing <coughs> to in consideration and with that is that Verratti's defending ability is there right his ability to pass as well is just one of the best in this game in my opinion right uh Xavi is really good this game as well but I feel like a lot of a lot of other players have just better passing ability and other things to go along with it but you know Verratti is just one of those players that I think he's got the best passing in this game right um hands down um I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna put in this guy for Sule. Sule is not good for my opinion. But then again, I'm gonna need to pause. Okay. So here we go. We're gonna play this guy next to Ramos. We're gonna play in Fati. Yeah, we're gonna play in Fati. Take out Rodrigo. By the way, I actually think he really needs that upgrade because uh, his dribbling is really nice, but his shooting is just—it's so random. It's just his finishing is awkward. Like you, you can only finish in certain spots. Like like Fati's finishing is is very weird too, but and his positioning as well is horrendous. Right, we're not gonna argue about that. But he he still like can shoot like the fifty fifty shots. He he'll, he'll score them and all that. But like, like he doesn't 
there's times that Rodrigo's in front of net and he will miss a shot in front of net. And I, I can't explain myself why EA just give a card finishing that's above 90, but this, the card still can't finish for crap. Like in like obvious, obvious you know, spots. Oh, good switch right here by Abrati. Where he just turned around right there. Kane, man, this game is just so, so disturbing, man. I just can't watch this game right now. Like, I literally never even switched away from Mbot from Ramos, and it just still gave me Ramos. I, I just don't get it. Look at this. Good for a variety. Good play right there, man. Okay, let's see if we make a run right here. Cut inside. Oh, man, he dragged that real well, real well right there. That was overplayed by me right there. Uh, he, makes some, he makes a pass right there. Gonna give the ball again. <coughs> We're lucky this guy doesn't know what he's doing. And he didn't shoot right there. Um, oh, I thought he was going to make a play right there. Okay, that was my mistake. Okay, so we go again. Okay, good to get away from Holland. Good pass. Pass back. Barrow. Gets inside. Gets inside of those small spaces. Something I can admire from this card. He gets to those small spaces and he, he's able to play a pass, right? Nice little cheeky pass. Let's see right here his AI. His transition speed is so good. And obviously it has to do with his height and his body type, right? Um... Oh yeah, man, this guy's gonna be a beast in the weekend league. Okay. Like, this is what I'm saying, guys. Like, <laughs> I just don't get it, man. It, it's just so pathetic how division rivals works, man. It is just so stupid. There's literally no, there's no, nothing. There's just no base to it, <laughs> to rivals. It's just if you have the readiest tactics, it's gonna work. This is why I don't play Rivals that much. This is just so pathetic, man. Come on. Pass a Shabby. Shabby. East goal. Okay, he's on. I know you can do this, son. Oh my god. It's just so obvious pass. It's just such obvious passes that he's doing, but it's just like the AI in this game is just you got to let you got to let the AI do everything. You can't manually do anything. Even when I'm passing, bro, he's just letting his AI do everything for him. Um Let's see. Will Fati make a runner here? No, he's not. But Kane will. Will Kane finish this, though? Oh, yeah, he will. Yeah, there we go. Move your keeper right there, bro. I know he was a move his keeper. I'm telling you, he's just a rat. He doesn't really know what he's doing. He's just ratting his way out through this game. Come on. Yeah, I know you were doing that. Come on. Come on. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, I'll see Brody right here. Okay, made a good pass right here. His Brody did a good tackle right there, but... <sighs> here we go. Here we go again. Come on. Oh. I just don't get this, man. This is just so stupid, man. It's just so stupid. Come on, Danny. I know you can make the run, bro.
Come on. Come on, there we go. Yeah, he thought he was gonna get it. There we go. How about the pass two? There we go. The Harry Kane, Harry Kane across the net. It's just the only way you play rats in here, man. Literally. We're just gonna have to come for ourselves with the with a cheeky little, you know, uh tie. Yeah, but there you go. This is how you play rats in this game, man. You just gotta bully them around until they start messing around. Like the ball is just gonna get back to him every single time. And it is just so pathetic, man. It is just so pathetic. His gameplay is trash, man. But Virati regardless, man, his dribbling is so good with such a bad gameplay. And I have nothing else to say, but like that was impressive, man. That is the I think that should be the only like just that reason alone should be a reason why you should complete this card. Cause his his compensating with his his dribbling, his body type as well, with the agile turns that he does. Also, his ability to recover the ball, right? We're not going to ignore that. His ability to recover the ball, <coughs> it's there. It's there, right? It, it's, it's definitely there. And, um, yeah, guys. Um, first game with Verratti. Uh, I can just say right off the bat, you know, we didn't really test much of his uh, tackling ability, but we did test his dribbling and his passing, and it was just so good. His passes, 100%, all of them connected. None of them were intercepted. Except for like one mistake that was that was my fault because I I didn't I didn't take in mind that that guy has that guy had already covered the line of passing that I was already about to you know when I was about to release a pass. Uh, but you know, other the every other every other one where I gave him time to you know consider where his passes were gonna go, you know he, everything was just so good, right? And the physical and the aggression. The aggression was there. The physical, I don't feel like I had to give the upgrade to it. I don't really feel like the strength or the jumping have any had any play in this in this game. So you know, I, I maybe I'm considering just giving him a shadow to max out his pace, which I don't think it will make anything better. I just think any any chemistry style that you wish to give him right could could work out just fine. You know, so that's why I'm considering now giving him a hawk, but. Like I said, he's not really that player you're going to have shooting for you that much. But, you know, considering the fact that you can play weekend league and play all these um, very uh, versatile formations like 3-5-2. Uh, <coughs> the 3-5-2 is a really good formation to consider, you know, if you, if you haven't used it yet, you're considering using it. I, I suggest that you highly, I highly suggest that you try it out. It's a very good formation. If you're uh, it's just starting to play weekend league. And you know you're trying to find your your rhythm around the game, you know you know what I'm saying. So uh, yeah, I I really think you should try out the three five two, and he plays very well on that three five two, right? And uh, his shooting ability it has some potential to it, and that is why I am saying right now you could probably give this guy a basic, or you could play him a hawk. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing a little bit. You know, I'm recovering from corona from having corona like for like the past two weeks. So, you know, my, my throat has just been such, so destroyed, guys. And it's just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's been chaotic. But I'm sorry if I'm coughing into the mic. But, you know, regardless, I'm trying to, I figured I tried, you know, to get this review out and try not to cough. But, you know, clearly he's not going so well, right? But um, regardless, guys, it's going very well right here with Roddy. First game in, I already think his dribbling was really good. So, you know, make sure you check him out. At this point, I think he's very recommended. I, I very much recommend that guy. You know, if you want to try him out on your team, uh, you are have the fodder saved, and you think uh, EA might release another card soon from the League One that you might more rather have than this guy, I wouldn't blame you, right? But this guy, his unique body type, his high being the biggest minus this card will ever have, Everything else is just fine, guys. Literally, literally. His aggression is coming into play. His interceptions are fucking amazing, right? So, if you guys are considering trying him out right out of the bat right now, I'm telling you guys, try him out with the hawk, with the with the with the anchor or shadow, probably preferably shadow, just to give him more pace, right? But I don't think it will make a difference, right? Because that's all I gotta say to you guys. Regardless, 
Let's see if we can jump the first game. But it looks like our friend right here might actually rage quit. Hope he doesn't. And we can actually get one more game in with uh, Ferrati. <coughs> It's very hot in my room right now. Oh, sorry about that. So, I think it's three five two, right? Because we've already seen how he can go up the pitch and play pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and try them out like this and oh look at that reach from Ramos yes sir that's why he stays in my team Verratti little switch Roni right here oh yeah good pass right there not so good recept not so good reception from Son but regardless the pass right there from Verratti phenomenal once I get to Kane oh my god Kane just did him like that Okay, came back to Roddy. Roddy, oh, Let's see, can you recover the ball? Oh. Oh my god, what a team have we just made right here, man. What a team. <coughs> here we go. Um. Yeah, I know you're gonna do that. Recovery from Rodrigo. The pass. Get back to Rodrigo. Oh, no foul. Alrighty. It's okay. We'll have Ram. We have Ramos in the team. When you got Ramos, there's nothing else to worry about. Oh my God, Verratti. What was that? You do Jesus, guy. This guy, the way he just turned Eto like that, man. Yeah. Okay. Curry from Ramos once again. Oh Jesus, Ramos, you, you, bro, they got families, my guy. Come on. Okay, Roddy. He recovered right there pretty well. Oh, that was bad for me. That was a bad touch for me. I shouldn't have tried to touch like that. <coughs> he misses. I guess it was around the defender. He's trying to get the shot around the defender. Is what the AI does. So that's why that happened. Uh, he bounces the back, the ball over, and we don't get a foul once again. Um, yay, what's going on here, man? What's going on here? That was a very fishy uh, tackle right there, yay. You're not going to give it a, even a follow. Hmm. I tried to shot cancel right there, and it apparently didn't work out. Like I said, the gameplay right now is not the greatest, but it's a good way to test this card and to show you guys, like, like how I'm saying that his dribbling in... Even with the gameplay is not good, it's actually just, it's actually pretty good, you know, to test it out, to play with him, even with bad gameplay, because of his dribbling ability. Um, we get a little cheeky goal right here from our friend, scored on us right now. <coughs> Another thing I was trying to look into is that the, the five star skills wouldn't have been a bad thing for this card or a five star weak foot to be honest because he he turns out pretty agilely oh my god son if you would have just curved that around i would have just got it in tears a little finesse right there from Verratti. oh my god guys yeah yeah that this doesn't tell you to try this card out in your team i i don't know what will man i don't know i don't know to be honest he is such a good player man 3-5-2, guys, it's just the formation. It's the formation for you. Okay, come back right here. Okay, good recovery right here. All right. Get a little pass up to our creation front right here. Back to Virati. Now let's see Virati's. Positional awareness right here. Yes, there we go. 
shows the ball to the opponent a little bit way too much. But he comes back. He came back a little bit late though. I don't I don't I feel like he should have covered that space in front of Neymar, but he just didn't do it in time. Regardless. We move. I'm gonna see if we can get another shot off of Verratti. Okay. Verratti pushed that ball very well. Oh, yeah, they were just double teaming. They were just waiting for me right there. I should have just released the ball. Try to make a run with him. Okay, Da Costa. Great interception, Da Costa. Oh, Rodrigo. Oh, yeah, good pass. Good dummy right there from Xavi. Uh, we get oh we kept trying to get a pass off to Son. I didn't think he was gonna read that. Okay, there we go. Set him in the trap. We almost got him into the trap, and we get another toxic goal. I didn't take in mind that Messi was right there, and and his Neymar, I just couldn't cover right there. That's good play by him. Um, what what was that pass? Monta Costa. Oh yeah, good way, good way to get in front of Messi. Xavi, ooh, just left him in the dirt. There we go. Roddy. Not so good of a job right there. I feel like EA are going to have to fix a lot of scripting when it comes to playing with this variety. Because his, his uh, passing and dribbling in game is very good. But a lot of the animations that he's choosing when it comes to like his t first touches and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like It, it doesn't look like it's a... It's a good one. And uh, right now the gameplay is acting like shit. Yeah, it's just being shit right now, man. I, I literally can't do nothing. I'm literally trying to like press circle or tackle. And I can't because it's just the gameplay is so delayed. But. Anyways. Okay. Um. We get the first half, but we get a little cheeky goal with Verratti, right? Uh, a little cheeky finesse. It's pretty good, pretty good. It's just another, like I said, it's another reason why I'm considering that maybe a good, um, I guess, a, a good um, chemistry style to give him is a hawk, and you could play him as a center mid in a four-one-two-one-two. It, it could work too. It could work in a, a four-two-three-one-two. Play him as a cam. You know, a little cheeky cam for you that's medium high, and he still works pretty well. I, I feel like he makes good runs. He hugs those open spaces very nicely, and his dribbling is very, very, you know, compensating for like the bad gameplay. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna see if we can get some more games, uh, some more goals with him, excuse me. And I was considering not putting him in the cam spot, but. Looks like our opponent here is taking his cheeky little time. Okay, there we go. Showing the ball a little bit. Okay. It doesn't let me switch to Verratti. Here we go. It's just so delayed, guys. I, I'm so sorry, but this game is so delayed right now. It, it didn't even let me pass this on. It just didn't even pass. I literally pressed X like 30 times, and it didn't let me pass this on. 
<laughs> oh, this game is pathetic. Here we go. The close up with a good recovery. Back to Brody. Alright, let's see this cheeky little pass right here. It could give to Isco. Oh, man. He gets beat by Raul Holo. Here we go. Ming Son. Yeah, I couldn't pass right there. Come on. Somebody go for the ball. Yeah. Pass to Roddy. Roddy, see the space right here. See this pass. Into Hakimi, into Son. Unfortunate. Here we go. Oh, upside. Alright. Yeah, but as you can see, his passing is good, guys. His passing is very good. Uh, even when the game was lagging for me earlier, I, I feel like Verratti was just still responsive. Like, he was just able to see open spaces too and run into him. And let's see this right here. Can you see this pass right here to e Xavi? Oh, and he does. And the shot by Xavi. I mean, that was some little toxic guard right there, but what can we say? Our opponent got the same sort of treatment, so I guess now we will as well. Now, okay, good interception by Shabi. It's again, Verratti. Nice little cheeky pass to Hakimi, but Hakimi just wasn't there on time. Okay. <coughs> yeah, it was a good goal by our opponent. Yeah, also because Hakimi was off his position as well, so that was all me. You can see right here. Okay, let's see now. Let's see, can we get Verratti to come in? Okay, not so good. So delayed, man. Okay, good hold up right there from Roddy. Able to hold up Mateos. Okay, passing Mateos right here. In front of Mateos. Oh man, Jota just pushes him off. This is like another minus, I guess, from this card because his, his right now with the with the anchor, he has 90 strength. So I still don't see the the you know the strength playing right there. So maybe the 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 shadow might work. Okay, falls back right here. Nice tackle right there. Seems to be possession based too. Okay. Easily dives up. Oh, okay. There we go. To Kane, to East Goal, to Net. Alrighty. I feel like I'm just giving it to Verratti so much, they're just double teaming me with Verratti. <laughs> but, you know, still Verratti is doing such a good job at holding them off. Let's see if we can make a runner here with Verratti. Never mind. He's just crossing it into it. He's just thinking he's going to get the same luck. And the touch by Roddy was there was phenomenal. Good dribbling. You, know, you put him in the dirt. Get a little cheeky foul. It looks like they're having enough of it. So. We're going to do this, right? We're going to put him in the cam position. And the only reason why is because, like I said, I'm considering putting the, the, the hawk on him. But regardless, he's doing very good, right? In the CDM position. It's just, like I said, the strength isn't there. <laughs> and the way EA from adding this card, he should be playing a little bit better with his defending. With defending. Because I already upgraded the uh, with the anchor chemistry style pretty well for his uh, 
interceptions and everything is like full, almost 99s, right? 97s and shit like that. But he's not doing just he's just not doing it, you know. But he's dribbling, like I said, his dribbling is still good. Look, look at what he did right there. You know what I mean? Like he still he still has good dribbling, right? I'm gonna see if we can take this as on. Okay, we get a nice goal. Well deserved. Well deserved, guys. Well deserved. Alrighty. Um, let's see you guys are on the comments. Excuse me. I need three hundred ninety-two title. I know. I know, bro. Uh, welcome, by the way. I want to do variety to partner up with Nkunku at CDM. Uh, yeah, that is a good that is a good choice. Um, variety at CDM, like I said right now, he's he doesn't. I feel like EA might have to fix some of the scripting in the game for him because that's what they usually do, right? That uh, like um, what they did that what they did to they've done to cars like that before, like for example Neymar. Um, the beginning of the game, his, his shooting was pretty okay. And then it just got worse, and then EA did some scripting right to to the game, and his shooting was better, right? And that was all they needed to do, just you know, just shooting, dribbling is obviously pretty good, but that's something that EA did, and that's what I'm saying. Maybe EA just have to do a little bit of scripting because his his defense uh, stats are pretty high, and they're not they're not playing to their stat number is what I'm trying to say. Like you don't see him actually tackle anything or be aggressive and run into those you know cut those passing lanes like the that like the instructions that i put on him so i'm thinking that yay might in the future fix up you know maybe that right guys but um <coughs> right now it doesn't feel like that like in the beginning of the game and that's another reason why i'm trying to say this in the beginning of the game his 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 tackling ability was really good like obviously he wasn't the best in the game, right? But he was tackling, right? He was he was he was acting, excuse me, to his medium high characteristics. And right now, I'm just not seeing that. Uh, I'm seeing that he's just very relaxed. Like his like he's a medium medium is what I'm trying to say. He doesn't feel like a medium high. He feels like a medium medium, which is not bad. But you know, it, it's just you're doing him to be your cdm you're not doing him to be your, your you know your um you're just your center mid or your cam you know like i said his dribbling is still good you could play him as a cam and his passing is obviously like one of like i said his passing is one of the best in this game you know hands down especially now that it's all the way up like this is you have no chemistry style you need to add to his passing it's just it's it's like right there guys this is right where it needs to be right but Still, defending, being at all those 90s is just, I can't, I cannot argue or I cannot hide it. It's just not good, right? It's just not there. So right now, I'm going to do um, a Hawk and that's going to be the last thing I'm going to give him, right? Um, the, the, the Shadow doesn't do anything, doesn't do anything else, in my opinion. I don't think I need to give him a Shadow because, um, I mean, look, Stand Tackle is a 98, Defensive Ward is 96. Interception is 99 and standing to slide tackle 99, right? So, uh, him not acting like that, there's no excuse. EA, they either need to fix his scripting on this card or he's just not going to be a good CDM, right? Hands down. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and grab a Hawk because I am very interested in trying him in as a cam or a center mid. But ideally, because of how I've seen his dribbling act, right? Um, I'm going to give him a hawk. Really quick. And what we're going to do. <coughs> what we're going to do. Is we're going to play him. As a left, last defensive CDM. And let him play up. Excuse me. Like Xavi does. Uh, in my 3-5-2. And we'll see how that plays. Right. But like I said, his shoot, shooting's good. He shoots. He shot a finesse shot with his weak foot. I think if you go to minute, like minute fifteen, ish, he he scored a cheeky finesse shot that I liked. The way he hit the ball from the defenders, and that was really nice from him, right? 
So we're gonna go ahead and look back into that in a bit. Um, right now we're gonna give him a hawk, and look at the hawk. Looking at the hawk, 86 finishing, but 94 shot power and 95 long shots so looks very decent for this card. So we're gonna go ahead and switch him in game, play him as our second sender defending mid. Playing him off balance, that's what we're going to say, right? We're going to see how he acts and how he reacts to playing in that position. And we'll also see, right, if we can get some cheeky shots with him because, you know, that's exactly what I want to see with him, right? Because I saw the ability that he has his dribbling and his passing and his shooting too look pretty decent, but everything else is pretty good, guys. So we're going to go ahead and jump to the next game. Um, it's been taking a w quite a while for me to find these games in this right now. I don't know why. It's a very annoying. Let me change something real right quick. Let's do this real quick. <clears throat> Come on, we need one more game, guys. Come on. And by the way, guys, I also wanted to ask. Um, it's weird, but like, like I, I don't know how to feel about this Rodrigo card. You know, I don't know if any of you guys completed him, but he feels so awkward on the ball sometimes. I, I don't know. Like I said, EA has to do a lot of this shit with the scripting and sometimes gameplay. I don't know all that shit, right? But. It just feels like even if he gets the upgrade, he won't even feel that nice. Like, he might feel a little bit good, but it's just for the price that I would spend on him in the market for what I spent on him on here, which was like 300 and something K. I would rather just spend money on a, like an 89 Vinicius on that as a left winger on that same position on 7 chemistry style. 7 chemistry, excuse me. And I think he'll play way better than this Rodrigo. I, I don't know if it's just me, but, you know, if you guys like to leave in the comment section, you know, what do you think? If this Rodrigo is, was worth the investment, if you already spent the coins and fodder on him, or do you think he was just kind of a flop of a card? You know, even though he got five-star skills, I feel like he still just doesn't feel good enough at times. Like, he doesn't feel as good as, like, this Isco, who has an average body, average body type. It has five-star skills, just like this card. And he's just, he doesn't feel any way, any way close to him. And he's me, high medium, too. So it's just, I don't get it, guys. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but, you know, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, I just think that this card is not good. He's just there for my links, you know what I mean?
Yeah, the matchmaking in this game is not the greatest, right? I actually generally hate this game for the matchmaking. It's just so dumb. We're gonna have to call it like that for the review, right? Regardless, guys, try him out with the Hawk, right? Uh, where am I rate this guy? I feel like he's got the best passing ability. One of the best passing ability, excuse me, not the best. One of the best passing abilities in this game. Um, he's probably got the best passing ability besides Massey in the League One. Um, that's for a fact, right? And he's the League One links makes him ideal right you probably need this guy on your team if you're going to make a league one team even the psg links they're they're just phenomenal the italy links they're, they're never going to be missing links with this guy and especially now that i'm thinking about it the the Serie A coming up is probably going to have one of the most cracked cards in it considering you have theo hernandez you know all these other cards are going to be really good the milan boys are going to be phenomenal right i have no doubt about that in my mind and um yeah guys um i think that his link ability in this game makes him very much s tier as a card in this game not just his link ability obviously his ability to pass to dribble his defending needs a little bit to work on but i feel like it's not something that but a chemistry style to add to him the shadow could probably just make his transition speed a little bit faster for you guys right but still i feel like ea have a lot to give uh, when it comes to you know fixing his card um card's ability to tackle at least the stand tackling is the only thing i would like for ea to give because his transition speed is good it's just when it comes to the tackling he's just so sleep i can barely you know uh change him to him onto him whenever i'm on the game because his awareness just feels so fake you know he's not trying to cover those passing areas or you know what i mean so I feel like it's something that EA has to work on, but regardless, guys, right now, for right now, his shooting ability is still something to look into. It's it's still pretty decent, and if you guys are thinking about having a card like this to crack some long shots, don't worry, guys. He's actually very much well worth it, right? So regardless, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by, you know, taking a look into the review, and if you liked it, please leave a like, you know, leave a uh, comment. I very much appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a fantastic